What's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today is going to be pretty exciting. We're getting back into a Golf R. We just traded in a 2016 Golf R here at the dealership Stokes Volkswagen. It's an amazing vehicle. You know, we did a video a few months ago about the Golf R. I had my friend Derek come out. He's a stunt driver and we took the car out on the streets. Derek is more of an American car driver. That's what these stunt drivers drive a lot of times in uh, TV shows, movies and things like that. They'd like to drive those American cars, but we put him in a European car car and let him have a shot at it. Anyways, I gotta get moving. We got the uh, Golf R coming up right now. And it definitely is a beauty. Now today we're gonna kind of look at this vehicle. I'll tell you all the extras that it has on it. And uh, Chris right here just printed up a list a few minutes ago. His customer actually traded in this car, so he knows all about it. If you wanna buy it, you're gonna wanna contact Chris Mack right there. And we'll put the phone number on the, on the video here at the end. Again, 2016, Chris, how many miles on it? 31 and some change on it. It's got a lot of nice extras. And what I like about it is it's still a very clean. It had two owners. The first guy that owned it was a military guy. He had it, got deployed somewhere, had to sell it. The next owner bought it. And this guy has taken such good care of this vehicle. Um, Chris told me that the guy drives it with gloves, okay? So that's how you know tedious he is on keeping this car clean. everybody there it is the 2016 golf r pre-owned vehicle for sale right here at stokes volkswagen you know i do not imagine this car sitting here at the dealership for very long but you know and it's a good possibility that somebody watching the video right now could buy it so you know and that's the thing folks wherever you live at in the country you're more than welcome to buy it as long as you're in the united states and uh anyways well we're not gonna i'm not gonna try to sell you right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you this vehicle so, you know, a lot of y'all that know about the uh, Golf R, you know, just as much information about it that I know, or even more. Now, one thing that's very unique about this car is the headlight system on it. You got that beautiful LED light right there. More LEDs, I mean, the whole headlight system is LED. It's really freaking sweet. It sure is. Um, if you're wondering what this is here, I'm thinking those are the windshield washer squirters that come up and pow, hit that right there. I may be wrong though, but I'm thinking that's what it is. Let's see if there's one on the other side. Actually, yes, there is. That's pretty neat. We'll test that out here shortly so I can make sure what I'm telling you is the facts about this vehicle. That's the high beam. Okay. <laughs> is this a way to kick them on, but I don't think they have it. I don't know, Chris. I think that is what that is. Yeah, but they kick out. The yeah, they pop open and and squirt. Okay, maybe not. All right, everybody. I was trying to see if those were actually uh, windshield washer squirters for the headlights, like you see on a lot of the Audis and you know high-end vehicles. But we're not seeing anything coming out. So maybe not. But anyways, the real facts you're gonna to wanna to know about this car today is sitting on that white piece of paper on the windshield over there. And I'll go over everything in just a minute here. Let's go ahead and take a look at these wheels. These are new speed wheels. It's got RS on there. It's a sporty looking wheel with a Michelin tire. We're talking about a 225-45 series tire. There's a Michelin Pilot Sports with a 17 inch wheel. Now you will notice, and uh, I mean it's not that noticeable, but there's a little bit of camber going on in the front here. I don't think there's much camber in the back, but the car's got a lot of nice little extras on it. So let's go ahead and, uh, and take a look at this. All right, let's get our camera in uh, focus and have a look. I do apologize if you cannot read the handwriting here, but we're doing the best we can. So I'm gonna just run down the list here, 2016 Golf R. It's got Euro side mirrors right here. APR stage one tune. 
So, you know, this vehicle has around 296 horsepower, and uh, from what me and Chris were looking at on the APR website a few minutes ago, you know, depending on which uh, tune he got, this car could be well over 350 to 400 horsepower. I also have new speed 17 inch wheels. You're getting five of those new speed wheels, okay? So four on the outside and a whole nother fifth wheel with a tire right here, so that's nice. Michelin AS3 tires, which we just saw. Uh, European spare tire and jack kit. How about that? That's an extra. Diesel, diesel geek shifter kit, okay? That's a short shifter inside the car because again, it is a manual transmission on this vehicle. That's nice and let me tell you, when you get in there and drive with a short shifter, it really makes everything happen so smooth. Um, definitely shifting gears a lot quicker. Um, you got the uh, ECS tuning clutch bleeder valve HS tuning R5 R5R clutch VW Golf Club Sport S spindle wheels bearings and control arms and H&R rear sway bar okay so those are some of the extras on it which are really nice obviously the guy that owned this vehicle he really was into performance and you know why else would you buy a Golf R if you weren't into performance and that's exactly what you're getting with this right here so anyways it's a beautiful vehicle White is definitely a nice looking color on this car. You know, I always was told, you know, back in the day with Acura being the white Type R, a friend of mine owned one. He said, Chad, white is a winning color when it comes to racing. And uh, it definitely looks like a winning color today. I like the black mirrors. I like, you still got the LED lights. It looks like right in there, I'm assuming. We'll test all the lighting out shortly. No sunroof on the R, just so you know. Very clean. You got quad exhaust pipes on the back. Wheels look good. I mean, this was just traded in yesterday, has not even been in the shop and been cleaned or had a safety inspection done on it yet. That's how fast I want to get it on camera so y'all can see it because there's got to be somebody out there that's going to want to buy this car. Um, if you're wondering the price, I will get to that shortly. Open this up, your backup camera. But like I said earlier, you do have a fifth wheel right here. I thought it was going to have a tire on it, but you do. That's nice. I mean, you got a whole fifth wheel right there. I mean, and according to Chris, the sales guy inside, Chris Mack, he says you're also getting all the original parts as well with the vehicle. So anything that's been replaced on the car with new things like the sway bars and stuff like that, again, we got all the factory stuff so you can put it back on if you want to. And if you want to sell that stuff, go for it. But it's already on the car, just pull it off, put the uh, factory stuff back on. But why would you do that if you're buying this car, right? You're gonna wanna enjoy the nice things that that man uh, spent money on to make this car what it is today here at Stokes Volkswagen. Um, tires are in good shape. As you can see, plenty of tread on there. Still got the little nipples on the tires. Um, I'm liking the black painted uh, calipers. The wheels look good, nice gunmetal look. And again, you know, they're not the most expensive wheels in the world. They're not the, and they're not the cheapest wheels in the world, but they're new speed and they are definitely a nice looking wheel. They really are. All right, let's hop in on the interior. And of course, we could not do this video today without having a test drive. All right, let's get a quick engine shot, let y'all hear that and look at it. So uh, it looks pretty stock under here for the most part, okay? I like how there's a nice little shock there that kind of pops that hood open. But again, you know, when you're looking at it, it just looks pretty much all factory. But you, you know, if you weren't a car enthusiast or a R lover, you wouldn't know, you know, about the tune and all that. You know, you don't see any aftermarket intake systems or headers or uh, upgraded intercoolers, any crazy body kits and all that. You know, it's a very clean car. It really, to me, this is this is that sleeper car that you pull up at the stoplight in your GT Mustang or Camaro and you say. Ah, that guy's revving at me. I'm not gonna mess with it, right? And then that car with all-wheel drive whoops your ASS. That's what this car's all about. All right, let's hop in on the interior and have a look around. All right, we're gonna start in the back seats. Let me uh, let me tell you a few things real quick, folk. These might be things that other reviewers may not tell you about and that are good things on a car. You know, if you got a family or friends that ride with you, first of all, these rear air vents, that's a nice feature, okay? I can't tell you enough, that is a great feature to have on your car, and it keeps the cool air or the heat blowing on you in the back seats. Another thing that's nice is, listen to this. 
That is solid, okay? And what I mean by that, that is a solid piece of steel in the back of these seats. Now, how do I know that? Because I used to work for Audi for five years selling cars, and the Audis had steel plating in the back of these seats, and that is protection all the way. And it, I mean, it hurts your hand to hit it, okay? So that's, that's nice. The seats are in great shape. Like I said, it's a very clean car. And uh, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look in the front. All right, another feature that's nice to have on this car is auto up down on all four windows. Basically with a click of the button, watch this. Oh, it did the other side, but here, let's do that side. Look at that, okay? That is really just one click and it, it automatically moves those windows up and down for you. So that's a great feature to have. I won't spend a whole lot of time on it, but again, it's an, those are the little small features that are nice. I like this little area here. It's carpeted, which is nice. You know, all the carpet and things like that on the interior are gonna be helpful with sound detonator. You know, the these massive rubber seals going around these doors helps with sound detonating. Okay, that's what's gonna keep this car nice and quiet on the cabin. Also, at nighttime, it, this lights up with Indiglo right there, which looks really good. You got the R badge down on the map. You got power seats, power lumbar, and then the seat in here almost looks like a Recaro racing seat. It could be Recaro, but a lot of times you see a Recaro badge on a Recaro seat. But that is your R seat, and it's definitely the side bolsters here are going to really hold you in when going around corners. And uh, I promise you, you'll be going around corners fast in this. You know, hopping on the interstates, going around that little loop de loop, you're going to want to go fast in this car. All right, let's hop in on the seat and take a look at the uh, steering wheel and some of the little features you're getting. Woo, I will tell you one thing, folks. Even though it's October here in South Carolina, it's still humid outside. I mean, I'm sweating right now, but um. Let me tell you, here's another th great thing. I am six foot one in height. So I'm not too short and I'm not too tall. I'm right there at a perfect height for being a car reviewer. And uh, I wanna tell you right now, leg room is not gonna be a problem in this car. I mean, go back and watch Derek, the stunt driver in the R video I did. Go on YouTube, just type in 2017 Golf R Review. I think we pop up right there on the second page, the first video. You'll see my hand in the uh, thumbnail picture there. But Derek is about 6'3", and he was fine. Plenty of headroom, plenty of legroom. So you got that going on. So a tall guy that wants to go fast in a European car, this is it. Um, the steering wheel feels great. It's good looking. I like the stitching on it. I like the R logo right there. And, um, you know, it's got all your buttons and controls for audio, cruise control, multi-information display screen, and all of that. Let's, uh, let's see, I got a big rig in my hand right now that's holding the camera, so I can only move this camera around so much, but I do have a super wide angle 10 to 22 millimeter Canon lens, and uh, that'll let me get a little more in the shot, but that's about it. Um, uh, it does telescope, so it goes out and in and up and down. Uh, you'll like the coloring on the gauges right in there, which looks great, kind of an Indiglo look. As you can see, the mileage is 31,063 right now on this car. You do have a Fender stereo system, so uh, definitely an upgrade on your stereo system. Um, you got the piano black, as I would say, on the interior, which looks great. So it's nice and shiny, it looks good. Heated seats up front. You also have four motion, of course, and the logo is right down there. So, uh, you know, anybody watching the video right now already knows four motion all wheel drive is standard on the R Golf. Um, again, you got the short shifter in here. Let me push the clutch down, and I love the, um, the stainless steel on the pedals and everything like that. But yeah, let me look how short throw this is. And it, it definitely has a really mechanical type feel to it if that makes any sense it just you can feel it and you know that's really cool so I like that electronic park brake got that going on decent sized cup holders you still got an armrest right there and I'm trying to see if there's USB auxiliary ports so no ports down in there I'm assuming okay your USB and auxiliary are right in there so you do have one USB, one auxiliary. Glove box is good. You got SD card slots in there. You got two of them, which probably helps with the nav system and all that. Carbon fiber look, not real carbon fiber. Not that I can think. No, that's not real carbon fiber, but it does have that look about it. And um, your mirror is good. Do got sunglass holders, which are nice. And then right here, LED lighting, very nice. Yeah, so let's take it out for a ride. This is pretty sweet. 
All right, everybody, we got Chris taking us for a ride here in the Golf R, see how this bad boy feels. And um, so we're thinking maybe 350 plus horsepower, something like that, off of the tune. How's the short shifter feel? Pretty good? Really crisp. Really yeah. Good. Now, does this car have like a launch control type deal in it too? Yeah. There's that tilt telescope and steering wheel we were telling you about earlier. And Chris is pretty tall. How tall are you? About 6'3"? 6'3", 6'4". Yeah. And see, that's what I was telling you all earlier, folks. Um, even a big guy can get in here and still enjoy driving this car. And he's got room. I mean, we actually have someone else in the back. <laughs> and he's another tall fella. Well, how uh, tall are you, Zane? 6'3", 6'4". There you go. So, uh, yeah, we got... How's the legroom back there? Good. Airplane space. So you're not even touching the back seats? No, I'm not. Nice. So I know some of y'all watching over there in Europe right now. I know some of y'all are taller, you handsome Europeans. <laughs> so is there any complaints about this car at all? I mean, does anyone have anything to complain about on a golf R? There's not more of them out there? <laughs> There's not more of them out there, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, feels good. I mean, got up to 60 within just a few seconds. That's nice. Not bad. All right, hang on, everybody. We're going to get you some fly shots of this car here in just a minute. So there is the 2016 Golf R at Stokes Volkswagen. Now, again, it was just traded in yesterday. You got to see just as much about as everything as I could do for you today on the video. Got some cool shots. Got to let you see some of the specs on the car. You know, what extra add-ons a vehicle has. It's a really nice car. It's very clean. And uh, like I said, the previous owner really was meticulous about keeping it in tip-top shape. So uh, now you may be wondering at the end of the video, what is the price on this car? You know, what's the store going to be selling it at? I don't know yet. The, uh, the manager hasn't given me a price yet, but what I can tell you is that retail online is coming in around $33,900 to $34,000. So that is what retail is on a 2016 Golf R like that one with 30,000 plus miles on it, okay? Around $34,000. If you are interested in buying this car, then all I can tell you is to comment on the video and let me know. Say, Chad, I'm interested, I wanna buy that car, I live in XYZ, wherever you live at, and I will contact you and we will make a deal happen. Now, I'm gonna put some information for the sales guy that traded the vehicle in because I believe that he deserves a sale on this car because first off, Chris Mack, the guy that was driving earlier, knows a lot about Volkswagen sports cars. I mean, he's a enthusiast, so if you're buying a car like this why not work with the guy that is in love with these things and knows all about them and second of all he is the one that actually had it come into the store from the customer the man sold us the car he didn't trade it in on another car out here he actually sold the car to us we paid him for it and now we have it so that's how we uh, were able to get the vehicle thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video today here at Stokes Volkswagen of the Golf R make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel we really do need your support so make sure you like comment and subscribe have a good one everybody we'll see you soon